I just got another mini Bitcoin miner in. This thing may be cheap, right? Costing barely $100. And it's got a pretty big hash rate at a whopping four terahash a second. Three power modes with its highest power mode consuming 140 watts. Remember, this is the Canon Nano 3. However, the new version, the Nano 3S, has been announced and is releasing and can be ordered. Unless you just want something now, there's no reason to get the Nano 3 over the Nano 3S when it's a better performing device. It has a higher hash rate, it has a lower power consumption. Both devices normally now include the power supply. Uh, the only limiting factor here is really just gonna be it, it is a bit more expensive, so if it does push out of your budget, then of course just grab the Nano 3. The Nano 3, right, their little mini miner, does come with a power supply. It's an official Canon power supply. These didn't exist when I got my units in about a year ago, uh, but they exist now. And they allow you to run the high power mode. They're included, just make sure that they are actually included. If you buy from somewhere else, for example, at AM, it is included. And it really just makes this a plug and play mining experience. So I found this crazy USB-C cable on Amazon that not only can do 140 watts, but gives you a watt readout. I am absolutely nerding out. And I also found a matching power supply from the same manufacturer that is rated at 140 watts. Ideally, I should be using a power supply that is actually a little bit bigger than that, but it'll be interesting to see if this three port 140 watt gone fast charger is all that it's hyped up to be. To bring it back to this mini Bitcoin miner that could potentially earn me over $300,000 now that Bitcoin has absolutely skyrocketed in price per coin, these are very quiet easy to use and service, and the panels are even magnetic and come off. With the Wi-Fi capabilities, you can plug this in literally anywhere, as long as you have an outlet, and of course, a little Wi-Fi coverage. There's nothing else in the box, which you would expect in this era, but it's definitely not the preference. This thing is looking nice. You may be thinking, Bosk, if you know me, which, hey, I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk Point YouTube channel. Oof, nice unboxing experience. Well, why, why do I have this bright yellow power supply? I'm getting cyberpunk edge runner vibes, or even just cyberpunk vibes in general. Well, let me show you. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why this thing is brighter than the sun. My gosh. That's fun though. Apple-esque unboxing experience. Minimalist. Canon, which is a minor manufacturer and their sub-brand Avalon or their Avalon Miner series historically has been a great Bitcoin miner manufacturer. My Avalon miners have done very well over the years. And while they're not always the most efficient miners, they're normally very robust, rock solid, reliable. This sticker reiterates their specs. They've also integrated it with the Brains mining pool. And we used the Brains mining pool last time. And on the Brains mining pool, you can mine Bitcoin and earn a little bit of Bitcoin every day. I also just want to say, I love the fact that they made the shrouds magnetic. They could have easily gotten their manufacturing costs down by just making the outside case yellow. Uh, but by taking uh, the extra step to have matching shrouds, very cool, very nice. The yellow is actually really fun. It's very bright, but what I, what I like best about it is it makes it a lot easier to look inside of it with the contrast of the silver and other black uh, components here on the circuit board and the hash board and these heat sinks. Then we see the screen module tucked up there. Uh, initial impressions are that this looks fantastic. This is very nice, very good fit and finish. Uh, I showed you the side that's magnetic and easily pops off. That side is in there by tension. So I just reached in there, pushed in and popped that out. 
If you want to take your Bitcoin mining to the next level, then check out Luxor. They are leaders in Bitcoin mining and compute power. From being able to help you source full-size Bitcoin miners, and we're talking sourcing capabilities from just a couple units to well over a thousand miner orders. They've developed their own firmware for Bitcoin miners called LuxOS, and they also have Hashrate Index, a leading information provider for Bitcoin miners. Check them out with the link in the video description below. Now let's activate our handy dandy charging cable. Quick slit, Milwaukee box cutter is always a good experience. And we got our cable here. Comes a little cable tie, that's nice. Braided. This is a very nice cable. Little wrapper right on there. But it's been vanquished. And when we compare these USB-Cs, nothing stands out. This is bigger. And then you have this cut out. That's gonna be our screen. Just plugged it in. What I really like is the second I plugged it in, I get a green light on the bottom of that. Uh, pretty faint, but just enough to see that it's in use. When I plugged it in, the LED also went uh, yellow. Well, unfortunately for me, because of the way this case is, my master plan has been foiled. Uh, I have to tilt this at a big angle to be able to see inside there and see the actual watt reading. Recently, I've switched to the Apple iPhone 16 Pro. So while I've used this application before, I'm gonna need to get it again. Click re-download. So I download the free app and I click plus and it says, hey, connect to that device's Wi-Fi. Didn't find it, turned it on and off and now I have found it. It'll ask you for some permissions. If you allow it, you'll be able to just uh, refresh the available networks on the bottom and select your network. Otherwise, you could just manually type your Wi-Fi SSID in, and then you'll get this page. This thing is throwing some heat. Uh, so you can name this. I'm just gonna name it yellow. Can't miss that. Light control. On, off. I normally like breathing LEDs. Never the flash guy. It's like, yep, your mining rig is arresting you. You can also scroll down, go to the palette, and pick any color you want. I'm obviously a green guy. I mean, You've seen the Voscoin logo. So right now our stats are, we're at 60 degrees. You see our local IP address, the current time, hash rate, uh, and then also the mode. So L is going to be low. You go up, low, medium, high. This will produce more heat. This is also marketed as a heater. Uh, this is a great little warmer for your desk. Your hands are cold, get this. Your feet are cold. Get this, put it in the right location. Good to go. You go up to medium, right? And so we were pulling about 60, what, 62 watts on low. So it's definitely gonna be hard to tell and appreciate. But if you can peek in here, this, this little cable saying that I'm pulling 100 watts, which is me on the medium mode here. If you ever see that little blue icon, with your Nano 3. It means that there's an update available. And why not, right? So we need a solid Wi-Fi signal. Don't close the app or turn off the screen. This upgrade will take a few minutes. If I don't get the final status, restart it and try it again. There's a bunch of places to grab one of these little mini Bitcoin miners. One of those is Voscoin's sponsor, and that's ASIC Marketplace. Not only do they sell the Nano 3, but they sell all kinds of Bitcoin miners and other ASIC mining rigs. Check them out with our link out in the video description below to save some coin. So how much do these cost anyway? All right, so the original Canon Avalon Nano 3 was originally listed at 99 bucks in the original crowdfunding sale. Once you added shipping and you had to buy a power supply to get a higher hash rate, before you know it, it's like 200 bucks. They've gone up in price since then. And once they all started shipping with the power supply, it added to the cost further. And to my knowledge, 
They produced a lot of these and are no longer producing them anymore. The original Canon Avalon Nano 3, which is what we're looking at and reviewing here in this video, consistently sells for around $300 everywhere. For example, on ASIC Marketplace, it's $310 before any coupon codes shipped, including duties and the power supply. The new Canon Avalon Nano 3S comes in at a higher hash rate, 50% more, at six terahash a second over the advertised four terahash a second of the Nano 3. But to get that, it's going up to about $420 per machine. This does include any kind of duties, shipping, and a power supply. A stroke of genius has struck me. Or maybe I'm dumb from the beginning. But if you start dumb, as long as you don't end dumb, that's fine. So, I could, I'm gonna swap the cable so that the watt reading is on the power supply and not pushed into the case and then that way I can, I can easily see it. These mini Bitcoin miners take a very long time to actually have a mining pool initiate the payout. And that's why myself and most others are turning to solo mining. And because of that, Bosscoin has been working on sololuck.com. Check it out with the link out in the video description below. This is a solo Bitcoin mining calculator where you input your hash rate and it'll tell you your chance to hit a block every day over the next year and much more information. We think it's pretty cool and we're proud of it. Love to hear your thoughts and feedback on it down in the comments below. So the app finished, it went through its thing and then it kicked me out of my Nano 3 here. And uh, it's good and it's good to go, it's updated. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, wow, this thing's already toasty and we're not even on the high setting. Uh, so I'm gonna pull that out. So after being rebooted, it defaulted back to the medium setting. And that medium setting was pulling about 100 watts per this cable. And that sounds about right. So let's go in the app now. And we've successfully activated the high mode. How'd you forget my colors? So this is where everything gets crazier. I'm not gonna pool mine with this like I did with my other one. I'm gonna solo mine, and I'm going to basically just hope that this has the very small percentage chance, but the real possibility to solve a Bitcoin block. And if it does, I'll earn over $300,000. I had to put in the password to confirm those changes, uh, and the password by default is root, which is recommended to be changed. Uh, when you change your pool settings, the device will reboot here. Uh, but yeah, I'm treating this like a lottery miner. This thing's gonna burn my electricity and never make me anything other than if that micro chance, it is the miner to submit the proper proof of work to solve that Bitcoin block. And then I will receive 3.125 Bitcoins paid out directly to my address. And depending on what solo pool you're using, I will get rugged on a 2% fee. They are providing a service. Seems like a high fee for solo mining, but I like their stats and they got a good reputation. Imagine solving that block and getting rugged. Devastating. Brutal, savage, wrecked. Instead of this earning me several bucks a month or whatever the mining profitability is, right? And we talk about mining profitability all the time. Check out our other videos to go uh, very deep into Bitcoin mining profitability and other crypto mining profitability. The gist of the mining profitability on this is it potentially earns around what it costs to operate. Uh, it depends on your electricity rate. For me, it's profitable to run because I have a very good electricity rate. Uh, however, that's with pool mining, where you earn a little bit of Bitcoin every day. In this case of lottery mining, I will earn nothing every single day while amassing an electricity bill every single day. Not that, you know, 100 watts is going to bankrupt me here. It's not that much juice. 
uh, and that's on the medium setting, right? Uh, we go up in that setting uh, and it's even more. I'm trying to get this thing to switch to the high setting, uh, but maybe I undersized the power supply uh, and the cable again. I'm gonna have to do some research. Uh, I got these in to review before uh, they were shipping with power supplies. Uh, so I, I know that they now have some kind of option to ship with a power supply and it's, it's much more plug and play. Uh, one of the power supplies I got with it was actually um, a 65 watt, I think it's a Lenovo USB-C charger, which is actually this device right here that I have powering this little lottery Bitcoin miner. And what's really cool, I really like their little dashboard here and it counts your cumulative hash. Uh, which I think that's cool, that's fun, and just contribution. So when it comes to Bitcoin mining and your Bitcoin mining power, you can have a hash, or you have a thousand of those, you got one kilo hash, you got a thousand of those, you got one giga hash, you got a thousand of those, you got one tera hash, you got one thousand of those, you got one peta hash. And we'll stop there, it goes on. Uh, but this thing mines at potentially four tera hash. It's a lot, but I, I guess my master plan failed. And uh, this, this is not gonna work on the high setting. But uh, to be honest, it's fine. The problem with this, right, and in, in, in these typical little USB-C power supply bricks that are used, like they have no active cooling. This is very warm already. It's gonna continue to be hot. It's gonna continue to be heat soaked. So you can see the power draw as is of 105 watts it's probably not safe and just gonna lose a ton of efficiency. Very quickly, this hit the pool. I've got a Brains Mini Miner 100 uh, on this uh, solar mining pool address too. Uh, so make sure to check out that video review. But this is great, this fired up and connected and hit on the pool pretty quick, uh, which I love to see. Uh, and on here, you can see my total shares and best shares um, and all my data. And uh, I have a 0.008% chance to hit a block over the next year uh, based on my basically 1.5 terahash a second. So uh, that's going to that's gonna roughly double as this miner fires up. Uh, so I, I never said <laughs> with just these couple little things, it was a big chance. Uh, but with how cheap these devices are, it's no big deal. Hope you like this video. Uh, Bitcoin's been crazy. Crypto's been crazy. I think we're in for some really good times soon and well beyond. Bitcoin's here to stay among all the other stuff. Uh, and, and so am I. So, hey, I'm Bosker on the Bosker YouTube channel. I want to thank everyone who subscribes. It's wild that we have over 600,000 subscribers. I never thought that this channel would go anywhere, to be honest. Uh, so I thank you for that. Uh, and if you're not one of those subscribers, I invite you to become one for a lot of reasons. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to keep doing my best along with the rest of the Bosscoin team to bring you awesome content. And I'm gonna keep working on building my own Bitcoin and crypto mining farm. And I don't just mean about these little solar miners. I also build a large scale mining farm uh, as well, but I'm a nerd, I love this stuff. Uh, so big miners, small miners, uh, as long as it's an ASIC mining rig, hashing Bitcoin and other good cryptocurrencies, I'm in. So let's close it out in style. 10 seconds of tails. We do it on every video. See you later. I didn't think I'd like the yellow in person. I, I, I do, I do, I do. The, the, this, this stuff, it's like the, it's like the perfect thing. Uh, you know, if you're looking for some kind of like gift for like your crypto buddy or your Bitcoin dad or, or your, uh, you know, a parent or something, you're into this. And it's like, how can I get my kid interested in economics, money, Bitcoin, tech, finance? This does all of that, coding, right? Uh, so, if I had a kid, I'd get him one of these or one of the other little mini Bitcoin miners just to give him some exposure. And who knows, right? This mine's a little bit of coin uh, and that becomes really valuable one day, maybe. Uh, or maybe it hits a block and you spend like hundred-ish dollars on a miner and then you earn $300,000 and you cement yourself in the Bitcoin blockchain. <laughs> Dream, man. Hey. I'll see you later.